Hello, welcome guys. Welcome back to the, my, my channel. And today I'm going to for a new tutorial for the how to remove Samsung devices Knox account. As you can see, I have the A40 device here, and it has uh, MDM net, uh, MDM or you can say the cloud Knox cloud service. Knox cloud service. So how you can bypass it and use the phone back. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. Click on next. Uh, we connect on my Wi-Fi network. Uh, after I successfully connected my network, I'll click back, 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 and connect the phone with my PC. Right. Connect my phone on my PC. Put it back. And we come to my PC now. Here's the small tool you have to use the AZ Samsung FRP tool. You click bypass FRP. You click OK. And it will start to executing some files. It will install. And the phone will give you some link to view. Click view. And it will go to the YouTube and Google Chrome. As you reach here, uh, click next. No. You input V and room and click OK. Uh, on click on first link. And scroll down. We see the small application you have to download. Quick shortcut maker. You click download say ok and it will start downloading uh, once it's downloaded uh, we will open the application and tell you how to do it I will install the application settings Hello, install. And click open. Say OK. And here on the search, can you type setup. Setup. And once it's here, you click on Android setup, click back, you scroll down, scroll down. Here at the last, you click it, you try. It will go and prepare for the setup. You have to wait for a few minutes. Wait for a few minutes, click back, and yes. And once you reach that, you click power button, power button, you get the home screen, you pull it down, you go to the setting. And from here, you, you close your Wi Fi connection, click, you close the Wi Fi connection, click back, scroll down, go on about the phone. You click it, software information, or click on build number. Once the developer mode has been enabled, click back, click back. You will see the developer options. You click and you turn on USB debugging. Click OK and OK. You put your phone again, key hello, hello, and hello. Now back to my computer screen. You come back. And you open the command promote. Okay. Once you have connected your phone to on PC, uh, on your device driver manager, you can see the uh, Android device and the MTB port. Okay. At this point, you have to open the command promote for the command to put it to, in order to bypass the Asnox account. So, I am my I am using the minimal ADB and fastboot.
the small tool uh, if you don't have this tool I will provide you the link in the description box you can download it from there once you are ready I will give you the command uh, sort of command that if you use this you for the bypassing the Knox account uh, this command is here I have written on my uh, text document I will provide you on the, on the text uh, description box you can it will be easily for you to execute and do your work so first command is adb shell you click on copy adb shell you come on the tool you click paste and i'm using the home screen keyboard so i do yes click yes and it will go on the some sort of adb command on your screen and you can see i am now already on my adb shell on device now the second command you put is to copy copy and paste on the command promote and click ok now it's done you have once this process is ready you click on the phone you back on restart restart to wait phone for the uh, remote And once the phone is restarted, and no Samsung Knox account has been bypassed, fully bypassed. Now you can use for anything. You can download, use the phone like a normal one. I'm connecting to the Wi-Fi again back. And see, there is no Knox account. No Knox account again. Hope you guys like this video, share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for never miss the update. Thank you.